in sort of natural hair in the UK. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be interviewing people, going to salons and talking to hairdressers and talking to clients and talking to like men in barbershops because mm -hmm. a lot of influence on women's appearance comes okay. from men. Yes. So we want to see what the men think. We want to <laughs> see whether they find natural hair attractive yeah. if they do prefer a woman to have her own hair or have a weave because being in the UK, you see so much weave. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many bald people there are in India right now, but the hair's mm, probably yeah. all here. It's because, really <laughs> and we're going to be talking about weaves because I am, um, okay, I wouldn't say my weave Nazi, <laughs> but I don't like fake hair. And I just find it. I, like, if I go in a hair shop, I get a bit itchy because. <laughs> I don't like fake hair. I've never liked it. It's not a thing of you shouldn't wear it. You're ugly. Da, 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 da. It's if you want to wear weave, wear weave. Just make sure it looks good. Make sure I can't see your tracks. Make yeah. sure it looks presentable. But me personally, me personally, I don't like it. I've never liked it. I've never wanted to go and get a weave or a wig or anything like that. It's never been. And people say you you don't want it because you don't need it. Mm -hmm. If I was to go bald tomorrow. Jesus, please no. <laughs> I would not go and get a wig mm -hmm. or a wig. It's just a personal thing I have. Some people don't like cats. Some people don't like dogs. I don't like wigs. But wait, I, I've, I've tried wig. I've had my first wig. <laughs> I didn't like it. No. First and only. <laughs> but it lasted for 72 hours. It scratched. It was just, no. Yeah. It's just not me. I have had extensions. Um, me, I love extensions because it keeps me from not doing what I need to do in my hair, just leave it alone. Yeah. But it's expensive and I think that they charge so much money to get them done and then, you know, you take it out and you just think, okay, I've got to go and spend money again. Just do it again, yeah. So I'm not going to be using any more braids in my hair. The last time I braided my hair was, I think, about a month or two ago. Um, and that was just to get me through that, <laughs> that difficult time. <laughs> Do you know that almost like a cute T W A? Yeah. But um no, no much sentence for me, no more weaves for me. Just because I just think that I'm spending a lot of money on something that isn't necessary. Yeah. But if it's for you, then go ahead because yeah. people, you know, everyone's their own person. Everyone's We're not here different. to bash people or say mm. you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be certain things that we'll be telling you, but yeah. <laughs> we are not discriminating anybody. No, 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 no. We understand there's people who are transitioning and they feel more comfortable to wear a weave or a wig. There's people who want to protect their hair. It's a form of protective style. We understand this. We totally understand this. It's just us personally, mm. we do not like it. <laughs> no, not anymore. I mean. As we go through these videos, I, you know, like I said, I will put like a little hair timeline and you can see things that I've done. I mean, I have um, bonded my hair. Um, like I said, I've done the weave, didn't like it. But you will see, you know, a time hairline and then you'll yeah. see what, so we're not saying, you know, you shouldn't do, you shouldn't do that because I'm going, I want to talk because I've tried it, okay, <laughs> everything. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we're just here to just give you our views. Yeah. And, um, Embrace the, love Embrace the love of hair <laughs> that we're trying to, you know, being natural in the UK can be very difficult at times. It can be very tedious, mm -hmm. be very, I don't know, we'll do a whole video about being natural in the UK, mm. but it's very hard. It's really hard. It's very hard. I think in, in the US, I've been to the US a couple of times and it's more accepting there. It's more of a trend or a fashion or... People don't even question you about it, but here it's more like, why are you doing yeah. it? Like, I don't know if you, I don't know, some of you, you know, who hopefully are going to be following us or follow us on Twitter, yeah, have the heard, link will be down the link will be here. down, yeah, but, you know, you have heard my little rants and raves <laughs> when I've been on the bus in London and, you know, the comments and the looks that I get, yeah. um, I think, you know, probably being a bit old and being very strong headed, I kind of just, you know. We might actually do a video. We walk down like the high road yeah. and see you the do different get some reactions. Because yeah. with my hair being natural and short at the same time, you do get some looks. You know, and you think, hmm, why is hair like <laughs> You know, you do get it because a lot of, because I think our perception here in the UK is that if your hair isn't straight, then it's not nice. Yeah, that's my yeah. you know that's what I think, and I think it's wrong. And it's not only if you're not straight. 
For instance, my hair, people don't understand how I can be black and yeah. have hair like this. So it's like, well, you're not light skinned, mm. you're not mixed race. So why is your hair like that? It's, it's a lot of these questions. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the questions come from lack of education Definitely. and lack of knowledge of who people actually are. And we're trying to help people with this. We're trying to, you know, educate people mm -hmm. to understand who we are as black women, yeah. who we are as natural women, because there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of things that people assume you to be. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, I'm quite fed up of it because I've had yeah. it my whole life and it's just getting <laughs> stupid now. And I know it will never ever change, but you know, I mean, we it's, can, it's, it's annoying. It's, 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 it's annoying because, you know, I mean, like I said to you before, like my mum's mixed. So, well, not me. She's black. <laughs> but you know, my grandfather, my grandfather's um, Indian, and so with that, um, people will always look at me and think, well, you know, if your mum's hair is like that, then yours should be like that. Yeah. But it's yeah. it's really not like that. I mean, my curls are um, a little looser mm -hmm. as it gets longer and it's more um, softer. Yeah, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's do a close up because <laughs> I don't think you look and see. So Sorry. this is my own music here. here. And all I've done today was just a wash and go. And my hair is seven day old hair. <laughs> my wash day tomorrow. But um, my curl texture is, I don't know. I say it's 3C and the middle's like 4A. But yeah. See, I don't really know what my hair type <laughs> is. But to be quite honest, I'm not into this whole hair because type thing. Believe me, in the mornings, my hair does not look like this. <laughs> it's just not, it doesn't look like this. So, um, yeah, we just, you know, want to have some fun at the same time. Yeah, you yeah, know, and yeah. we, I mean, I did, I do beauty, so I did whole natural. And I'm a fashion thing. designer. So, so know, we're in the similar industry. Similar but industry. The way it collaborates is obviously being fashion designer. I will always need beauty to make my clothes and stand out on models. You know, and then she will always be fashion. <laughs> so we help each other out. Yeah. But um, you'll also get views from the fashion industry. Best believe I'll be interviewing some people that I know, some hairstylists I know. I'm going to be talking to them. Um, fashion designers who are actually quite well known, I'll be talking to them. Models we'll be talking to definitely because. I know a lot of natural hair models and it must be very hard to go to castings or stuff like that mm. and you know you, you automatically get judged on your hair i've done castings for my shows and you do judge hair because when it comes down to the fashion show everybody has to have a certain look so you do take it into consideration so you know that will be something we do look into as well mm. Um, also, there's a lot of like media here that have been talking about natural hair recently, like Black Beauty magazine, and we're going to see if we can talk to certain people like that, or The Voice newspaper. Like, we're going to be talking to a lot of people, expect yeah. a lot of interviews because they're coming. Yeah. <laughs> and also, while I'll be you know, going through this journey of locking my hair, yeah. I will take you into the salon with me, and then maybe, you know, try and see what the whole atmosphere in there yeah. is like, and try and get some of the customers' views while they're yeah. sitting there and just a the day-to-day and see what they think about having an app here. Put this way, if you've never been to London, you'll find out a lot about London. Yeah. And we will be trying to go, you know, out of London to other cities and towns within the UK because we are UK naturals, but we live in London, so we can't, you know, yeah. we can't just go to Manchester right now and come back. No. We could, no. but... No. So, <laughs> so we'll just be doing that experience with London right now, but if we do eventually go up north, or, you know... Stuff like that, we'll be doing that. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be having a natural hair meetup very soon. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for information on that. It'd be very nice to meet a lot of you yeah. and, you know, get your views and share ideas and do product swaps, even though we're probably all buying the same thing because it's hard to anything here. It's hard anything here in the UK. But our next video is going to be about the products we use so you can actually see what we use and why we use them and what they do. So stay tuned for that, which is coming up next. And like we said, follow us on Twitter. The blog is there. The blog is there. I mean, I have done interviews with some guys, mm -hmm. um, asking them like you know what they think about women with natural hair. So stay tuned for that. I have yeah. been a bit slow on that, but I will get it posted. <laughs> Bear I mean, with us. There's loads of things. We that... have so much going on. Like I've got a new collection, um, and I'm a blogger as well for my own personal blog, which I'll put the link as well in the box. 
But we do so much. Like Naomi's a mother. She has a yeah. daughter. And I've just moved patience. house. Okay. It's just moved house. Um, I've got loads of things like, going on. There's so much going on. I've just come back from holiday. So <laughs> we're all trying to get back into our routines and stuff, yeah, you know. But. So bear with us. Like videos are coming. We videos just definitely coming. Yeah. And, the, you know, the blog page is definitely going to be up and running. I mean, we can start posting. I've got about two or three things that I need to get on there. <laughs> it's a lot. It's been a lot of rambling, a lot it's of ranting. Lot of rambling. <laughs> but um, I hope that, you know, for there's going to be things on natural hair. There's going to be just things about me rambling. There's going to be things on locks. Just kind of key things that you need to look out for yeah. or what you need to be maybe asking your loctician or your hairdresser. Yeah. So please, you know, keep going back onto the site and just keep, keep seeing if there's any updates. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be something for everybody on there. Definitely. Yeah. So make sure you follow us on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, yeah. go to your Twitter right now. Yeah. And right it's going to be like... Follow us okay. at UK Naturals. Yeah. Just follow us. Like we, you'll get into our journeys. I'll always be talking about different things. Yeah. I'm a bit of a Twitter holiday, <laughs> but um, that's another thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, just follow us and interact with us. We like to talk to people, yeah. so interact with us. Do no not be scared. Matter. What time? What day? Even you'll get one of us. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get one of us. I don't really sleep. No. So. <laughs> Me neither. But you'll get you'll get one of us on there, yeah. and you'll always know who you're talking to anyway. Because yeah. I'll always, we'll always put our names. So. Don't so. think you're just talking to random people. It's yeah. Like, it'll be only us two. It'll be only us two. No one else. <laughs> so yeah. just you know, follow yeah. us, and we'll follow back. Yeah, definitely. We'll follow, follow back. back. We try and follow back everybody who. Do you know what I mean? Who. Also, who if you are um, a UK product, you know, hair product company or. Because we've been looking for hair companies in the UK and we haven't found a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you do have products, let us know so we can actually try your products yeah. and do product reviews. We want to try your products. Exactly. And we're not asking for freebies here. We will <laughs> pay for your products. Yeah. We just want to try it because, you know, shipping from the US is very expensive. So unless we know somebody who's going to the US, we're not really going to get the products. So if you have products in the UK and they're being manufactured here, let us know so we yeah. can try them out for you. We can give an honest opinion. We can recommend where to get them from because right now all we're doing is trying to find our own stuff and it's really yeah. hard. It's really difficult. So and the thing is I'm having to find stuff for myself and also for my daughter as well. <coughs> and some of the things that I use I think are too harsh for her hair because we have whole different hair types. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you do Anybody out there? Let us know. Let us know. Because, you know, we can we can try them and see how they work. And I won't just try them on myself, for which I'll also be trying it on my daughter as well. Yeah. And then I'll give you like little reviews and because she's like at that age where her hair is changing now. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find the best products for her, for her own hair. Yes. So yeah. So stay tuned for the yeah, next video, and we'll be back. Bye.